Hello heroes, Joe Smith here. Just got done with a little side project. Check it out. You know what this is for? This is going to be a motor oil recycling station, bin, whatever you want to call it. Going to uh, dump all the used motor oil from change oil and cars and trucks and mowers in here and then it'll filter itself out the any water or solids metal will settle to the bottom and then can use this lower spout to drain off the water periodically and then this one that's a little bit higher up could use that then to pour the oil out and then we'll use like uh, use uh, motor oil containers jugs whatever and fill them up and then use that for bar oil on the chainsaws maybe even uh, sell some of it as used uh, oil for bar oil pretty easy you got a metal bucket off Amazon and two spigots off Amazon we'll add uh, links in the description if you want and the mill bucket, you could use any of the plastic lids. The, you could get the lid with the bucket separately or or with it. There's two different options, a bucket or the bucket plus the lid. But could find any 55-gallon um, drums or buckets or 5-gallon buckets or drums or anything that had a removable lid with a like a pour spout in it. They either had the pour spout and a non-removable lid or the if the lid was removable it just saw it had no pour spout. And of course uh well could drill a hole in the pour spout but then you wouldn't be able to get inside to attach the nuts on the back of these to hold them on so Ended up just getting bucket, found this bucket then by itself and read in the description that the plastic lids from five gallon buckets will work so just use a removable lid with a pour spout from hydraulic oil bucket but you can get motor oil buckets and stuff like that too or transmission fluid probably so just go to your local auto parts store if uh, you don't have any kind of lid like this and then just use a funnel and then inside the funnel don't got one got to uh, think got some at home so have to uh, grab one tonight and bring tomorrow or else uh, but you can get them at O'Reilly's or probably other other auto parts stores they're just a strainer funnel and they're used for like if you want to Strain your uh, paint going into your paint gun or whatever. But go and get a strainer funnel for like automotive paint. Put it in here. Then that way that kind of filters, pre-filters uh, oil as it goes in. And then as it's just sitting over time, any solids, metal stuff, water will all drop to the bottom while the oil floats up to the top. And then, like I said earlier, it can drain off the water periodically and then pour oil out of the upper one. Total costs involved on making this, uh, like, what, 50, 60 bucks maybe, something like that. Already had some of the stuff laying around. But, for under 100 bucks. For sure you can buy everything needed to make this. Tool wise, had these uh, old uh, step bits, got several years ago from the Harbor to Freight store. Came with a set of three, couple skinnier ones and then this fatter one. The fatter one in this particular kit, the fattest part at the bottom here, or at the base, was just the right size, maybe a hair small, 
after grilling through all the way to there, kind of shook a little bit, water it, water it out just a little bit more, and then that made it just right size where it was able to thread these on, kind of twist them, thread them on. And then they came with, of course, came with rubber O-ring on the outside and another one to put on the inside and then a nut to screw on the other side. And then just kind of finish threading them on with the adjustable wrench and then thread the nut on and tighten it down with the adjustable wrench. So some uh, step drill bits. Or a drill bed the right size, but the step ones work great because they start the hole smaller and then gradually work it and bigger and then with this thinner middle that works great. And then drill or else use this uh, screw gun because these bits lock right into it in place. So just grab that real quick and use that to drill the holes out. Screw the both of them on. Took the lid off the other bucket, slapped it on. Grabbed a funnel laying around, put in, and then your strainer funnel, like your paint strainer funnel, drop in there, and you're done. That's easy. Was going to kind of do a video, thought about doing a video, like uh, showing it being made, but figured like this is simple enough. You, you heroes don't need a video showing how it's being made. Plus, Joe Smith here has just been so gosh darn busy with so much stuff. You don't really have time to uh, break out the tripod and the HD camera and uh, do all that and it's it's just so easy to make a matter of ordering the parts, gathering the parts, a couple basic tools and drilling a couple holes and screwing the stuff on and slapping the lid on. So stupid easy. So easy a caveman can do it. So easy a five year old can probably do it. Then we'll just use one of these other buckets here then to uh, sit on, have like a bucket on the ground and then this one sitting on top of it as like a stand that way it's up high enough to get jug container whatever underneath there. And then these are like garden hose thread. These are like three quarter inch hose thread. So like the wa one to drain the water on, you can even attach a hose to it and run the hose out through a hole in the wall in your shop or something. You don't even have to have them mounted on the same side. You could have like the water one on the back side and then have a hose running through the wall to drain out your shop. You could even build a stand or mount it to the wall somehow or other. Don't want to mount it too high up on the wall because you you want to be able to pour stuff into it easily. And then you could have like the higher mounted one for the oil on the opposite side, like 180 degrees around. Or something or other. Uh, just kind of mount the higher one a couple inches above the lower one and uh, just uh, when you're marking your hole make sure or figuring out where to drill make sure you allow for you know space because the uh, bottom on the inside is up a little bit higher than the ledge here and almost uh, got too short had to kind of take the thumb and push down on the bottom a little bit be able to get the nut on because it's got a big flange on it that goes against the rubber washer on the inside but simple project after you get the parts together probably take about 30 minutes to make and then you can recycle your motor oil if you got a chainsaw and use it as borrow save money on buying borrow then for your chainsaw oh thanks for watching like subscribe share ring the bell if you want leave comment if you want Thanks for watching. Joe Smith, sign out.